Okay, hello everyone. This uh, video is for the students who didn't join my Google Meet just now. Okay, so we have two essay tutorials today. The first one is replying to an email. Let's look at this question. Okay, I read the message from your friend Nisha. Hi Intan, just finished my final exam. I'm thinking of watching a movie tomorrow. Since you know pretty much about movies, I really hope you can suggest me a movie to watch. So you have to suggest a movie to watch to Nisha. Should I watch a romantic movie, an action movie, or a horror movie? Do let me know. Okay, so you just need to choose a movie with which genre? Romantic, action, or horror? Okay, in about 80 words, write a message to your friend. And who is your friend? Your friend here is Nisha. Okay, so the things that you need to take note from this question is watching a movie tomorrow, suggest a movie to watch, and choose which genre, romantic, action, or horror. And please remember that you are writing to Nisha. You are not writing to anyone else, but you are writing to Nisha. Okay, now let's look at how you begin your message or email. So you must write, hi Nisha. You don't write, hi Michael. You don't write, hi uh, Amina. You don't write, hi Jonet. No, okay, you must write, hi Nisha. Because the question tells you to write to Nisha, to reply, to uh, replying uh, Nisha's message or email. Okay, so this is the sentences. Please copy this, um, these sentences in your composition exercise book. Okay, please take note that when uh, I write these sentences, actually I am uh, answering Nisha's, Nisha's question. And I also add other relevant information and you need to end the message properly okay so let's look at the sentences again uh, look at the question again okay so nisha asked you about watching a movie tomorrow and she wants you to to suggest a movie to watch and she was asking whether uh, she should watch a romantic movie an action movie or a horror movie okay now let's look at the sentences again okay so uh, before that you must make sure that you are replying to nisha Okay, not anyone else. First, okay, just now she said she wants to watch a movie tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow, watch a movie. But how to watch a movie? Now you cannot go to the cinema. Okay, because of the MCO. So, through Netflix. Okay, and then what is the movie? So, you, so she asks you, okay, suggest a movie. So, you must give a title of the movie. You must give a title. Okay, so example like I give, the title of the movie is Jumanji, The Next Level. Okay, and I also mentioned the genre of the movie. It is an action movie. Okay, again, I hope to see you tomorrow. Because just now, when she sent the message to you, she said she wants to watch the movie tomorrow. Okay, so you just reply. Okay, what else that you have to take note? Okay, so you must add relevant information. Example, like uh, just now, I add the word Netflix. Okay, the reason of your choice. Okay, why do you choose Jumanji, the next level? And you must also have cohesive devices or sequence connectors. Bahasa Melayu kata penanda wacana. And the style of writing the title of the movie. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, the one that I have highlighted in purple is the relevant information and the one that I have highlighted in yellow is the 
reason why you want her to watch the movie. Okay, so the one that I have, the, sent, the, the words that I have highlighted in uh, yellow are called the cohesive devices and also the sequence connector recently. Okay, the word also and but because so they are called the uh, they are the conjunction and they are also called the cohesive devices. Okay. Now let's go to the next tutorial. Writing an article. Okay. Very quickly, we look at this question. Okay, so the title of the article is Keeping Children Safe at Home. Okay, let's read the, center, the, the question together. Many accidents occur at home and most of these accidents involve young children and toddlers. In about 200 to 250 words, write an article on keeping children safe at home. Okay, so there are three notes given here. So you need to expand and construct sentences using the points given. Okay, the first one is keep away sharp objects. Number two, matches keep out of reach of children. Matches here means manches, eh? gores api. The third one is not allowed bathrooms near bathtubs or pills with water. Okay, let's look at the sentences very quickly. Okay, but before you begin your article, you must follow this format. You must write the title of your article and underline it. Okay, so this is how you write the title. And you must write your name as the writer. Okay, so then only you start with your introduction. Okay, if you notice that my first sentence in the introduction is taken from the question itself. Many accidents occur at home and most of these accidents involve young children and toddlers. See, I'm taking the first sentence and I am copying it in my first paragraph, in my introduction. Okay, then when you have the first sentence, you will think of the other sentence. So how to avoid or how to prevent the accidents? We must take the precautions. Okay, so this is your introduction. Okay, next point is keep away sharp objects. What are the sharp objects? Okay, so these are the, the sharp objects. Okay, so let's look at the sentences. Here are some important ways to protect kids from injuries from sharp household objects. Okay, firstly, keep knives, forks, scissors, and other sharp utensils in a drawer. Also, keep glass objects. Okay, so this is um, additional information, such as drinking glasses and bowls in a high cabinet far from reach. Store appliances with sharp blades like blenders or food processors far from reach or in a locked cabinet. Okay, as easy as that. And don't forget your uh, sequence connectors and cohesive devices. Okay, the next point is matches keep out of reach of children. Okay, so these are the example of the thing that can cause fire, matches and lighter. Okay, what are the sentences? Okay, I choose the word next. Okay, next, always store lighters and matches out of reach of children, preferably in a locked cabinet or cupboard. Never store them in bedrooms or anywhere that children may go without supervision. Okay, don't leave lighters or matches in view of kids, even for a short time. And always put them away. Okay, that's it. Okay, and don't forget, you need to have your uh, sequence connector. Okay, next, not allowed bathrooms near bathtubs or pails with water. Okay, let's look at this. This is the bathtub with water. This is the pail with water and imagine what happened to the toddlers or the young children if they play with the water. Okay, look at the sentence. Says, okay, furthermore, to prevent accidents in the bathroom, never leave a child alone in the bathroom. When the bathroom is not being used, 
keep the door closed. Children younger than six years old should not be in the bathroom alone if there is water in the bathtub. Empty the tub or pail after bath. Finally, make sure the tub or pail is empty before you leave the bathroom. Okay, I don't have the conclusion, so you need to write the conclusion for me. Okay, uh, but before that, I just want to show you that for this paragraph, I have uh, two sequence connectors, furthermore, and finally. Okay, so your work is to write another one paragraph that is called the conclusion. Okay, you just need to write uh, two to three sentences only. Alright, okay, bye for now.